So I made a decision. I'm going to f- this acting shit, and I'm going to run with it. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. There's no plan. But this is what I want to do. Started getting on my physical fitness shit. Started going to classes. We say classes, acting classes? Acting, acting classes, actually sitting in a class. Right. And um, and you method man. Yeah. yeah. How, did yeah, that, yeah. How, did you, like, how were you able to do that? Like, It's easy. Those kids in there are already stars, if you ask me. A lot of those kids that go to those classes are so advanced already. It's just that we haven't heard of them. Right. You know? Yeah, shout out um, to the classes. No, oh, that it, it helps. No, but it, it actually helps. No, but yeah. I would rather be, I would rather be coached by myself. The classes help you with the exercises and technique. and 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 technique. And it's always great to have the tools. And Ivana Chubbick, Ivana Chubbick has a book called The Twelve Tools of Acting, or we're putting power back, giving power to the actor. Right. And once you learn these twelve tools, there's no way that you can walk on a set and feel out of place or not understand what's going on. Because of Hell. these tools here. You go to your tools and you say, what do I want in this scene? What's my what's my scene objective right here? Then you got to say, okay, well, what is my overall objective? Now, for me, in real life, mm-hmm. my overall objective is just to win. I think everybody in this room can relate to that shit. Right. So why not fight for that every day? That's what we do in these scenes. Mm. We're fighting to win, whether we're a villain or the good guy. Mm. Right? You stabbed Samuel L. Jackson. I did. That was hard. I did. <laughs> I definitely did. But whether you're the villain or the hero, you're right. fighting for something. You're right. fighting to f- win. Who's saying the villain isn't right? Because in his heart, he's doing the right thing. He thinks he's the hero. Right. And the hero is doing what he feels is right. He could be a f- villain mm. and not know it. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's the beauty of when you approach these scenes or even these scripts when you're reading them and shit first off when you read the scene nori uh, i don't like to read but let's go no but when you see this scene and shit first thing that should be going through your head is okay what's going on here mm-hmm. and if you understand what's going on here the next thing you should say is okay i see these words but how would i f-ing say it i'm going to the school of method i'm going to your school <laughs> That. I'm coming to see you wherever you at. Once a week. <laughs> I'm, I'm a father. He can, re- he can rebrand like, method acting. This thing is breaking this down. I'm going to see you. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. It, would, it would be like, how would you say it? Yeah. And for me, it takes me back to just, just being on the block and dudes telling stories from a third person um, about something that happened. Right. And really, if you got a good storyteller, y'all know this shit. If you got, yeah. good, he doing other people's voices yeah. and shit. Right. He be acting like certain niggas, and yep. y'all know all know that yep. this nigga act a certain <laughs> way and shit. You laughing? 